What's next? Oh, it's Excuse me, Team Chaos. I was wondering if I could ask you something. If it's about a date, it'll have to wait. Date? You think this is a joke, you little brat? Now hand over that chow nice and easy. I bet you you're the one who took chocolate chow. What? It's not nice to tease my friends. Yeah, time to rock and roll! Okay, so it looks like we're fighting these guys now. There's got to be a major misunderstanding here, but we can't back down now. We won't lose to a bunch of losers like you. Not bad, but it won't be so easy from here on. Yeah. Oh, Charming B's dead. All right. <laughs> yeah, okay, we, we took we took them out. Sometimes you don't even notice when you take them out, but we did it. Let's see what we get. Twenty-three seconds. Sorry, we got an A. But there's no time for this. We got an A. <laughs> And we're at 15. What's next? Hand Castle. Okay, this is the uh, Haunted Castle, castle missions now. Level, uh, levels, not missions. I think we're lost. <laughs> Don't you want to find Chocola and Froggy? We can do this! I've got to get tough for all of us. Hmm. Yeah, let's go. What's that? Go, go, go. <laughs> what? <laughs> Trying to try off that. Alright! And we go here, go here, it flips upside down. What? There we go. Where am I? The castle is turned upside down. Oh, let's get this button here. If I remember correctly. <laughs> yep. Uh, there we go. Flip the castle, flip the castle up the other way, and the door should be open. It's really bad if it's flipped over by tornado hammer. So As be careful the magician. when he's upside down. Here we go. Swing over here. Fly over here. Hey, Run down here. here. Don't worry. Yeah, let's just okay. switch Damien since she's faster. Yeah, we got 101 coins, which means we got an extra life, so that's good. What? Oh, right, yeah. Huh. Alright, I don't know what I thought. The castle is turned upside down. Yeah, let's keep going. Here. Should we take care of them first? 
Okay, these rings. Okay, these rings here, so let's go. What's that? Yeah, we're a bit. <laughs> yep, here, here we are. Right. Did pretty well there. Did really good there. I just knew B. Could do it. B is pretty good. He's a pretty good rating, ranking, grade, whatever you want to call it. 16. There. And now loading. Mystic Mansion. Escape. <laughs> okay. Stage 12. We're finally Right, we're inside the mansion now, I'll so let's... Yeah. Okay, at this point here, I decided I wanted to go grab something, so I just muted my mic to prevent any background noise, but once I got back, it appears I didn't press the button hard enough, because it won't be till the end of this video that I actually noticed. Uh, this goes on for the rest of the Haunted Castle levels as well as the First Fleet level. So to keep you entertained, I will give some information about the series, the videos, and the future of my channel so far. The next 20 for the next 20 minutes. Don't worry, I did take some notes on what I would like to talk about here. So let's go. First of all, we got the Sonic this series, the Sonic Hero series. I fully recorded this series as well as, well, this story, not the entire series, as well as the Team Sonic and Team Chaotix stories. Uh, once I've, once I've called these videos out, I will then upload the Team Sonic and then the Team Chaotix videos. I haven't recorded the Team Dark story yet and I will probably only do the Team Dark depending on the reception of the series, as well as maybe a quick montage collecting the rest of the Chaos Emeralds, as well as the true final stage with Metal Sonic, which will more likely be the one video. If this series does well, then maybe we can fully complete this game on the channel. The second thing is the audio and video issues. I've noticed this throughout whilst editing, and you've probably noticed this as well. That uh, at times it seems like the audio seems to echo a little as well. For some reason, my raw footage of the gameplay actually comes out like that. So I guess maybe it's an issue with my capture card, or if and if so, but it does seem that I may need to find a better capture card than the HD PDR one. So I may go for an example mostly because it's much smaller, pick up less space, and looks easy easier to sell than the former. Uh, something I noticed during the editing of the is that for some reason loading screens will stay on the screen much longer than necessary, mostly on the bottom. So I had to stretch the video a bit so it's not visible, which does explain why the video is compressed a little. Uh, a friend of mine did tell me that certain PS2 games do not record well with data PDRs, and I guess Sonic Heroes is one of them. I've also been told that WWE Smackdown, Smackdown Shut Your Mouth and Here Comes Pain respond the same way as well, which I may need to look out for if I do indeed decide to play those two games in the future. I guess, the issue, I guess these issues are because the PS2 isn't an HD console. Who knows? I, I don't know. We'll see next time. Uh, the background I found really good at least, so at least I didn't just leave it how it was and have random black bars and parts of a loading screen creating eyesores while you watch the video. Uh, the third issue is the recording issue. I believe I mentioned the recording issue that I had so I decided to do a quick google search and well as it turns out if you ignore those updates that do absolutely nothing but make your computer slower long enough, they eventually mess up with any software that allows for video, hey, including the preview recording. However, and editing, as well as the editing software, wasn't affected. However, the editing software wasn't affected. 
So I got all, all of that update. It took five hours long, which means this, that these videos are, are yet again delayed as these videos were originally going to be out on, by Tuesday the 19th and today is the 24th. After getting the updates done, everything was working properly I, and I haven't checked to see if this had fixed the preview recording, but we'll see next time. I decided to record videos next time I decide to record videos. Hopefully this also fixed any issue with the audio when recording. I meant that I mentioned earlier. Uh, the swear counter next up is the swear counter and other stuff. Uh, after I finished recording, I noticed I tried to not swear as much, which prompted me to have the swear counter. Although it has only appeared in two videos so far, trust me, once we get to Team Sonic, you will be seeing that a lot more. I I'm not really sure why I'm trying not to swear, probably because in real life I am currently trying to tone down my swearing. That way I can have fair conversations about things rather than resorting to my to swear to try and make my argument stronger. Uh, this challenge I gave myself some pretty fun, so I decided to add the counter. Uh, some other ideas I have are I have all since I've mentioned that Team Sonic would be more frustrating, I decided that for some parts of these Team Sonic and Team Sonic to have many montages to showcase my fail until I eventually get it. Uh, com get it complete. As Team Sonic, sometimes the controls do something dumb, sometimes the final boss sometimes the final boss is unfair, whatever it may be. It'll be a way to shorten those long parts down. For Team Chaos, it's sometimes taking me a while to find something that I may have missed out. Not as frustrating as Team Sonic issues, but annoying. Hell, with Team Sonic, I had to restart multiple times, and I'm certain it took over an hour to beat the final boss. Uh, the next thing is why I seem off. Now, watching these videos, it might seem that I am a bit off with my commentary, even by this channel standard. Well, it has nothing to do with me being bored or feeling the need to make this video. No, it's actually something more personal as I did these videos not long after my grand had died, which I haven't really been the same since. I still don't feel 100% about it, about the whole situ about the whole thing, but I am trying, so maybe that's why um, I seem off in the video. Trust me, I, I really did want to make these videos and I really did enjoy making them, but I think with the recent circumstances when I was commentating, I guess my head wasn't in the right state to record any videos really, plus uh, during that time I was taking some medication which does have some effects since this medication d does contain a good amount of alcohol which could explain why I seem to mumble during the commentary which as of today I, I am no longer on. Which is why I probably seem okay now. Perhaps, had I gave it some time, I would have probably been able to perform a much better commentary for these videos. As watching back, I am saying to myself, what, what am I doing here? And as I just want to scream at myself and, and not get any input on certain sections of this video. But looking at it, it seems like I tried my best. Uh, I even made two edgy jokes in the video, as well as some snarky input after some dialogue. Uh, next up, what's next for the channel? Uh, as of right now, I am currently planning on making a few wrestling videos and get a few collaborations organized as, as of right now. I do have three people in consideration, including a former ringside journalist. I don't really like that outfit, but this kind of quick and is a personal friend of mine. A small Twitch streamer and a YouTuber with more subscribers than me. Uh, right now, I am considering playing PlayStation 1 games, wrestling games, like the WCW games and others, and considering rebooting my podcast for the entertainment podcast that also talks about video games rather than just a wrestling podcast because there are certainly enough of those. Uh, NT10, my list video series, is something I, I could do again, but maybe change it, change a lot of it, as my first video was initially to see the response, what the response is like on, a, on list videos on my channel, and I'm quite pleased, so I could make more of those. Just a few things I, I'd like to change, though, every video would be scripted, regardless. 
I'm also changing the intro and also just was plain boring. I, other things I'm gonna try to do are put my tool into other kinds of videos right now. Right now, so definitely new series will be coming to the channel which will certainly be scripted, such as short video analysis and full reviews of games. And finally, my universe mode series. As of right now, I haven't actually considered bringing that back. And if I would, if I would like to change, th and if I do, I would like to change the format of that show to a more scripted and story-based show rather than your run-of-the-mill let's play as these guys. Is it finished? Type. I will probably be setting up a pa I will probably not be setting up a Patreon or anything like that. The now because I feel as of right now there isn't really anything I could any reason for me to, any reason for me any reason for you guys to give me money on Patreon. Maybe once I figure out what I want to do I'll make I'll make one, but for now I'm just gonna leave it. Uh would I consider myself to be part of the wrestling community on YouTube? Sort of, but I do feel the community has changed a little plus the rest plus wrestling YouTubers who I'm subscribed to. I haven't really, I haven't really made any good videos in a while. Uh, to keep me watching, to keep me watching them, uh, with the exception of Star King, uh, those guys always deliver good content, and not only that, but I don't really feel the same way about wrestling as I had in the past. Uh, the current WWE product is probably worse than it's, it's ever been, plus the, uh, plus the other promotions. They're good, but WWE always stands up all all their talent and it gets to the point where maybe WWE has too much talent. That is, that is now affecting how I watch other promotions. I will say though, this All Elite Wrestling promotion does have a lot of promise, so maybe that will bring back the passion I had years ago. Uh, next up, am I going to return full time? And to answer that question, probably not. I have my reasons for this. Uh, one of the things are well, YouTube is now much different to when I was around, so it's very likely that my channel will probably never take off to the point I can do this full time. Not only th that, back when I was making money, I was I was only making about sixty pounds a month, which at that time was actually less money compared to the high school student funding, which was one hundred and twenty a month. Uh, my current student funding pays me one hundred and fifty for college, which that money runs out runs out fast, so I need to be sparing with that, which means I have I won't have much money to buy stuff for the, for the channel. Not only that, I happen to live in one of the worst parts of the UK where there are barely any jobs and even if you get one it's always a zero level contract which means you don't get paid till you reach a threshold. Plus you will barely get called in. I've mentioned in my WCW NWO Revenge videos that I am in my third year of college, which I need to prepare and figure out how to do my final, my final assessment, which means less time to focus on YouTube. Because once that's done, it is likely I'll either, end, I'll either be moving on to university or an apprenticeship, which I, uh, which I already have the qualification for to get, to get it, but I would like to walk out of college with a diploma. Staying up past the course. If I'm going to be honest, even if I had everything, everything, <laughs> if you look at the state of YouTube right now, you could see that there are a few issues, such as two apocalypses. One being because the mainstream media decided to take PewDiePie and other various YouTuber clips out of context, which, believe it or not, not only, not only. Uh, only two of my videos were hit were hit with the yellow dollar thing. Uh, those being a video from people to check out the Apartment X channel and one Universe Mode video. Strange that enough, videos with swearing in the title and very edgy taboo humor were still eligible for monetization. And most recent, and the most recent one because some absolute attention seeking succubus decided to contact the advertisers themselves about an issue that YouTube was already dealing with. Hell, one of my friends got a strike because YouTube were dealing with the issue. They admitted that some mistakes were made because of this, but they removed the strike and apologized for the inconvenience. 
Not only that, we're not only that, we are also dealing with Article 13, which means since I live in a country within the European Union, I can no longer upload content on the internet, otherwise I can face legal repercussions if I break the law. It hasn't passed yet, but we will we will all need to hope that they decide not to pass it. But looking at how things are, it seems very likely since since the four biggest parties in our country are through are throwing all their support and money into getting it passed. Even though if you check their Twitter accounts, it seems they are breaking the law that they won't pass. What a bunch of hypocrites! What what I'm saying is the issues are personal ones such as the education as well as the money issues and YouTube problems like that are focusing at Article 13. So basically if I'm ever going to return full time I would need to somehow get at least a thousand views and somehow garner 12 million views each video. That way I can make YouTube my full time job as well as hopefully have the titles come back with basic videos not getting monetized as well as Article 13 get yeet then maybe I can do that. By the way, as of right now, it's very unlikely. Next up, we got Sonic Heroes, this game itself. Uh, and that's my little rant over. So let's talk about Sonic Heroes and my history with this game. Well, I actually got this this game on uh on Christmas for the GameCube from my grand. It was also the same year that I got my GameCube, which that and the version of the game, and this and that version of the game, I no longer. Well, I actually no longer have uh, Sonic Heroes or that GameCube. Uh, I did eventually buy the, the PS2 version years later, mainly mainly because I remember having so much fun with that game back then. I have no idea. Uh, maybe all the fun I. I have with this game now is through nostalgia goggles as this game hasn't actually aged well. I still had fun playing it again. It does seem, seem very weird because I remember finding the casino park mission really fun to the point I considered the least my favorite levels in the entire game to now finding them boring, annoying, frustrating. Yes, I know if I wait on the title screen for a while, the intro will start playing. I just seem to remember the intro playing the game. Then the title screen playing you can press start or something. I'm not sure if it is only the GameCube version or if I'm just remembering it wrong. I will always be thankful for my grand for getting this game. For me, honest, it is obvious that she did in fact have an interest and bought me a game of a series I was really into it. To be honest, I have completed the game as all four teams, however, I've never played it all seven chaos enemies to fight more at Sonic, which must be a pretty cool fight. Hell, if I was still a kid, I think that would make me happy. Well, I'm just about to re realize my mic is on mute once I complete the first fleet mission level. Hopefully I managed to somewhat keep you all occupied whilst I had no idea that my mic was still on mute. And not only that, but I believe at the start of the next video I mute the mic as I need to go to the toilet, but I do remember to unmute the mic once I get back. Uh, this video here is certainly the longest in the Team Rose story, whilst the next video is the shortest. Uh, kind of like my WCW NW Revenge video. After after you watch the long video, you get to watch the short video for your reward. I uh, hope you enjoyed the rest of the series, and we'll be hearing my voice again in about five minutes or so. See ya.
Okay, I just. Okay, I just noticed that my. Uh, we I should my try to do there. better next time. <laughs> I just, I just realized I had my mic on, my commute the whole time there. Oh my god, I honestly just went through all of this stuff. Went through a couple levels and all that other stuff. 